my special guest um, is a American Idol alumnus. She is a very skilled performer. She is a national figure in the music industry, and she is the king's uh, good luck charm right now because every time she sings the national anthem, the kings win. And unfortunately, Drew Hayes, the program director here at KBC 790, home of the kings, thought it would be a great idea if I stepped in for PO one night in a couple of weeks, March 26th to be exact, and sang the national anthem. And if they lose that night, Pia... They're, the Kings fans are going to kill me. I think you'll be fine. You sure? I'm sure. They've lightened up a bit over the past You're giving them years. way too much credit. It's going to be a, some sort of bad <laughs> in the, the parking lot. I you'll be fine. Of course, I'm, I'm introducing Pia Toscano. She has... Uh, I'll tell your story. You were someone who was from Queens, New York. Yes. Interested in American Idol as a as a young girl. Very young. Tell Since that story. I was 13 years old when the show came on air, and I saw Kelly Clarkson, and I was like, I have to audition for this show, but I was too young. So I waited until I was 16. My dad took me out of school. We went to flew out to Vegas, and we thought it was kind of like an overnight thing. You know, you just go and audition for the judges, and then you're – either in Hollywood or not, but it was pretty like a long drawn out process and uh, that didn't work out. So I well, went talk, talk about times. that a little bit because yeah. uh, I've had people go and do that. It, it's, 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 it's intense. It's disappointing. It's, it's all day. It's, you know, you fly out. It's weeks. Like yeah. the whole process, you have to go through preliminary rounds before you ever get to see the celebrity judges. And um, that's like, it's like a month long thing. That's the thing that people don't know. People don't know that. Yeah. And it's like, it's a huge cattle call. There's thousands of people there. You know, you're staying up all night and then you have to sing. There's 15 stations, and then you have to sing really in front of everybody. You hear everybody else singing. It's crazy. And then you got in front of the guests. You're sick. The, these celebrity judges. Yeah. Who were the celebrity judges then when you were 16? My year. Well, when I was 16, when I was 16, it was Simon Cowell, Randy Jackson, and Paula Abdul, and Car Carol Bayer Sager. Was that insane? It was You're crazy. You're standing there just oh, I was in wreck. I was so young. I wasn't ready at that time. <laughs> I was so nervous, but it was such a cool experience. And then I did make it to Hollywood that year. Um, and, you know, and then I got eliminated in Hollywood, and then I went back four times later, and I finally made it. And what was that experience like? It was phenomenal. I mean, it was crazy, but it was very competitive. You know, you have to have a very thick skin. You have to be confident. And I was also sh super shy at that time, so... It was a big adjustment for me, but it's an overnight platform, and it's just beyond. It's, it's like just got to be crazy want. intense. I mean, you're, yeah. you were 21? 21, 21, 22. 21, yeah. and all of a sudden, you're having to learn songs every week. You're working yeah. with Jennifer Lopez, yeah. or, and, and, they're, and you're standing up on a stadium. You know, they sort of, uh, probably there was Nokia then, right? Was it that? It was, um, well, we, we shoot you at, at the, CBS. We shoot at That's CBS. That's when they built the studio yeah. at CBS. And then, um, you know, the finale is at the Nokia, which is crazy. It's all, like, very surreal because I remember when I was 13, I was watching the finale with my father, and we were both crying and, like, praying that one day I'd be there, and then I was as a finalist. So did your parents like, come out and everything for all they, that? They sure did. Oh, my gosh. My whole family came out, like, for every every week. And so now you're, you're singing in Las Vegas. Can you talk about that? Yes, I'm singing. I'm in... The All I Have, Jennifer Lopez, Vegas Residency. She was my judge on American Idol, and she's been really good to me, kind of mentoring me throughout the past couple of years. And you you taught me this morning yes. uh, a little bit about the anthem. Uh, <laughs> and and that you, you, I wanted to sort of place you with the national anthem. You've sung in stadiums. You've sung in City Field. You've sung in NFL. You've sung for hockey. Yeah. You've sung for everybody. I, and everybody. I'm going to step out there on the ice and try to pull something off that – Drew Hayes, it's a novelty. I get it. I get it. But I'm not <laughs> it's sure it's going to I'm not sure it's going to work the way everyone wants. No, you're going to be fine. You have to get that attitude. That the, oh, I got to get that way, attitude. The way you're thinking. Tell right me about now. that attitude I need Okay, to so I I've learned that if you think about all the great things that can happen instead of all the things that could go wrong, you're setting yourself up to win. And if you you're thinking about all the negative things that can I'm happen. I'm just preparing for the inevitable. Exactly. That's all. <laughs> you know, I get it cuz I've done that really up until this year. Now I've just started to enjoy it and it comes with time, but like um if you just go out there and have fun and you know just know that it's like an amazing opportunity and it'll be over so fast. And it's like 90 seconds long. It'll be over 90 so seconds. Fast. I think I'm thinking 70 seconds. I'm going to move it up a little yeah. bit. I'm going to push. <laughs> 90 seconds sounds a little intolerable to me. Just look 
look for the finish line, you know, but to pace yourself, pace yourself. And then, um, you know, once it's over, it's like, it's, it's going to be so awesome. You're going to have so much fun. Oh, Don't I be just, nervous, though, because but you're, I you're got the a sneak reason. preview and you're pretty awesome. Oh, thank God bless you. God bless you. I, well, I don't want, I want to manage expectations. Steve's got the appropriate attitude. Like, yeah, we'll see. We'll see about It's going to be great. I'm super excited. Oh, my God. So let, let me, I think uh, I would be remiss if I didn't sort of interview you about my performance when we were, we were trained a little bit this morning. So how was my voice? Did I, uh, did, I think was I okay? Did I, did I have more than you expected, less than you expected? I think vocally, I knew you were trained, but you said back in the day you were trained. So you, it was definitely, I knew you were going to be great. I didn't think you were going to be as good as you are. See that? No, Let's that's, see. that's, you're doing great. And you know, I would still warm up every day. Because it, <laughs> I no, still work at it. No, no, no. I have to work at it. <laughs> yes, I every, get it. Celine I'll Dion listen, I know. still works at it. I totally understand. That's why Celine That's why is I, who she is. It, and does it bother, as, as somebody that had some vocal training myself, doesn't bother you when people go, oh, no, no, just go. You, oh, you'll just sing the national anthem. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, everybody it, thinks but, you could but, just get up and yes, sing, and you need but to doesn't, properly Doesn't that bug up. you? It bugs me. It, it, it annoys me sometimes when people are like, oh, just get up and sing. Yes. No, you, there's a whole process. You don't, like, you don't just put a picture, a relief picture, and, you know, just start... You know, Thank you. you need to warm up. It's a muscle. So I, I get a little. I'm like, <laughs> like okay, warm up. Oh, right. say, can you see? Let's no, just hear it. No, come no, on, no, no. Oh, say, can you no, see? Steve, Don't put him on. on the spot. No, Steve, Don't uh, put him on the spot. Come on, Drew. I'm specifically not doing it, before. and I instructed our digital team here not to air any of my singing on the on the air. We can do it's it after. We will. Yeah, it's, Make a, them it's wait. a novelty, Steve. That's the whole point. It's, it's a novelty. novelty. All and right. so you have to go to the game, step out, or listen to the game on KBC on Saturday evening, and we'll play the tape Monday, the 28th. Okay. All right. All right. You have All right. to there. wait.